Yo, you won't believe this. I had the best experience today trying out a new VR game. It was so insane. I felt like I was in another dimension. Met this guy Andy at a tech art showcase last week, and we decided to explore this virtual reality game together. It's wild, man. You know my weakness for all things tech. This was the icing on the cake for sure. I feel like VR tech has gone to another level. The precision, the simulation. It was almost like I was living someone else's life. On a related note, has Sam always been this much of a gamer? He won't shut up about the new James Bond movie and gaming all weekend. Man, he doesn't have a clue that nothing beats the classics. Speaking of classic, Rachel is on this nostalgia ride, decided to reread 1984. Don't you just love her love for literature? She surprisingly loved the idea of the VR game, though. Maybe we can all try it together next trivia night, but let's be real, it's just a distraction before Sam gets schooled at the trivia. Also, the debate on ramen versus pizza, never-ending story, right? You know how I love my ramen. I believe in a world where the East and West can come together in one single bowl of ramen. Isn't it strange how we all can coexist with people having such varied opinions? Well, I guess that's what friendship is. So how about you? ended up in any interesting debates today. You remember that old quote? A heated discussion is just another name for an opportunity to understand a new perspective. On a different note, I tried cooking again today. Nothing fancy, just ramen. But something about cooking. It's calming, almost like a safe haven. You know what I mean? Funny how a single bowl of ramen can bring such a serene balance into life. That's enough rambling from my side. Can I just say, today was such a maze of emotions? I think this idea of working with the mind is growing on me. Went to a stress management workshop, got some hang of mindfulness meditation. You remember how I had my usual existential crisis thinking about Neural Nest's roadmap last week? Yeah, today was about taming those raging thoughts. And let me tell you, this whole mindfulness thing, it's like hiking in your own mind. You know, rocky trails. Steeper slopes than you thought, but at the end, a damn good view. On another note, guess who dusted off his piano today? Yeah, me. Fingers back on the keys, man. Ended the day in a peaceful trance. Just me and my melodies. Now don't start thinking I'm having a midlife crisis or something. I know we're all moving a few years past the big 3-0, but it's hardly that dramatic. Speaking of drama, Sam has a new gaming console, wants us to try some RPGs. Now, if only he knew it's not the consoles that make the player, it's the skill. He's going to have a tough time trying to beat me. Oh, and speaking of vintage, Rachel got herself a vinyl of the Beatles. Classic Rach, isn't it? Relishing the old school charm. Wonder if it's going to inspire some of her literature choices. Like how 1984 did. Makes me curious how the past shapes our present. Maybe I will give it a go someday. You ever thought how music, be it an old vinyl or a piano, can be some kind of time machine? Takes you back to some memories, some emotions. And that's a charm in itself, in it. Now let's talk the talk of the East and West fusion. I bet you're assuming I made ramen today. Well, no. Crafted a sushi burrito. Yes, you heard it. Sushi and burrito together. Quite an exciting blend like life itself, always mixing and matching, huh? Speaking of which... Life's like our group chat, a mixed bag, music, coding, gaming, food. Maybe it's the variety that keeps it engaging. What's your take on it? So what's been your fusion today? So we continue the saga, but guess what? There's a new player in town. Well, the new player is AI, in healthcare this time. Yeah, you heard it right. Today, I attended this tech conference, you know, one of those fancy ones, where future-obsessed folks gather to talk about how AI will rescue humanity. No aliens involved, sadly. The limelight was stolen by Max, this cool guy. He was the lead panellist. We had a pretty geeky chat in a good way, you know. He was dropping knowledge bombs about AI's potential in healthcare. It's mind-blowing, man. It's like we're on the verge of a revolution in healthcare, all thanks to AI. Remember the good old Codebusters chat this morning? Talk about energy, 
all while Rachel is savouring Parisian mornings, and Sam is, well, debugging codes. Classic Sam. Somehow Sam's debugging and my AI conference fused into something amusingly fun. We even ideated a club. Yep, the Code Busters Club. Imaginative, isn't it? We're meant to bust codes, decode mysteries, while we embrace the coding chaos. Guess what our logo should be? A steaming cup of dark roast. Could be a fine banner for our caffeine comradeship. I swear these group chats get weirder by the day. Today's fiery blend of rigorous tech and candid fun led me into some thinking about our group, actually. We're quite different, aren't we? Rachel with her love for branding, Sam with his software gigs, and me with Neural Nest. And yet, there's a harmony, like all distinct notes creating a beautiful melody. Sometimes I think it's this blend of diversity that keeps us together through the AI conferences, the caffeine rides, and even the delightful chaos of code busting. Don't you think our little melting pot of friendship has something unique and fascinating? Speaking of unique blends, don't you find it interesting how different cultures blend with tech? Just as we were merging East and the West in our sushi burrito, today's AI talk brought me closer to the way East and West fusion is extending beyond food and art, all the way to tech. It's not just the sushi burrito, but it seems we're constantly pushing borders blending different regions, ideas and possibilities in a single tech-enabled pot. It's a brilliant intertwine, really, where Silicon Valley meets the Silk Road. Honestly, days like these reiterate why I love what I do, amidst all the existential crisis and the startup pressure. It's a swirl of ideas, from serious tech talks to hilarious chatbox banter, hops right out of a Marvel universe like a Deadpool rendition. Anyway. Did Sam get his coffee yet? I'm on my second cup already. Got to love him espresso shots. And how's Rachel enjoying the Louvre? Got to appreciate her classic taste for art.